This is one of the new experiments in the Chemistry 91 syllabus. We're going to have a look at the different oxidation states of vanadium, a transition metal. In this, we start off with ammonium metavandate, which has the vanadium in the 5 plus. We're going to add this to some zinc and see what happens. Firstly, the beautiful colour of the yellow 5 plus iron disappears and it's replaced by a green coloured solution. Now this is here really to fool you because in fact the ions that we're looking for are the 4 plus ions which are blue and we all know that if we've got blue and yellow that we get green. So this colour disappears slowly and it's replaced by the blue colour of the 4 plus iron, which is very similar in colour to the copper iron. Slowly, this blue colour disappears and it's replaced by the green colour of the vanadium 3 plus iron. And then, eventually, this turns to the 2 plus iron, which is mauve in colour. We can reverse this experiment by adding some potassium permanganate solution, which has been acidified. Potassium permanganate is a really dark purple colour, so we have to be very careful adding it that we don't mask the colour of the vanadium. We add the potassium permanganate dropwise to the 2 plus iron, and we see the colour change from the mauve to the green of the 3 plus iron. We add a few more drops and we get a change in colour from the green of the 3 plus iron to the blue of the 4 plus iron. And if we're very careful and we don't mask the colour, if we add a few more drops of the potassium permanganate, we get back the yellow colour of the vanadium 5 plus iron. Let's have a look at this. I have 125 cm cubed of the ammonium metavandate, so to react with this I need 1.87 grams of zinc powder. So we'll just uh, weigh that out carefully on the balance. I've got here a little clever spatula which will allow me to put on a little bit at a time so we can get the measurement really quite accurately. At least I can if I don't run out of zinc here. Let's just put a bit more on. Take it carefully now. A little bit at a time. Come on, there. there we go. Right, okay. That's our zinc. Yeah, 1.87. That'll do nicely. Now what we've got to do is to put that with the ammonium metavandate. I've already made this solution up and what I'm going to do is take this solution and put it into a conical flask. We'll set this with a magnetic stirrer and then let's pour the stuff in. Right, get the last drop out. Okay, now let's start the reaction. It goes quite quickly. Let's add the zinc. immediately something happens and we can see a green colour. This is due to the blue of the vanadium 4 being made and still having the yellow of the vanadium 5 and now we can start to see it's starting to go a little bit more blue. Let's get in there slowly. 
I can see that it's becoming a, a much bluer green. And if we leave this just for a moment or two, it's starting to get gradually bluer and bluer. And I think I'm now reasonably convinced I've got vanadium four here. Let's keep the stirrer going. Let's keep the reaction going and see if we can move on from here to make vanadium three and then vanadium two. So there we got really quite a nice blue of vanadium four, which is very similar to the copper oxide or copper sulfate solutions. And there we are, it's really gone quite clear now. Right, it's getting darker and this is now due to vanadium three being made and hopefully we should start to see this coming a bit clearer. I've got the stirrer going really quite quick because I'm trying to get all the zinc that uh, is in the system reacting and getting it going as fast as possible. Definitely getting now uh, a much bluer green colour and really uh, I'm starting to feel that we're getting there with vanadium 3. This is starting to look really quite green. Having made the vanadium 3 then this next bit takes really quite a long time so I've compressed the video quite a bit here to take out quite a few minutes. Moving on from the medium three, which you can see is gradually getting a bluer color and with a hint probably of a little bit of purple in there because it's gonna be a mixture of the different uh, ions in the different states. And now we can see it's gone a slightly darker color still and then we're ready to move to the vanadium 2 plus iron and this looks quite different so if we flick over now to the other state quite a few minutes later we can see this has gone really quite purple which is vanadium 2 plus so we've gone from vanadium five, down to four, down to three, down to two. Now what we've got to do is see if we can make it go back again. And what we're going to do is set that experiment up using the potassium permanganate to change the solution. So let's go and have a look and see what that one does. Now that the reaction's complete, what I'm going to do is just turn off the magnetic stirrer. And what I want to do is get rid of most of the zinc to, before I do the reversible reaction. So what I'm going to do is basically just decant off the vanadium 2, leaving as much of the zinc behind as I reasonably can. And there we've got most of the zinc in there. So let's now put the stirrer back on. And for this, I'm going to want to put in my other magnetic stirrer. And we'll get that going. And now I'm going to take some potassium permanganate and we're going to add this a little bit at a time. So we've got vanadium 2 plus. And if I put a little bit of this in here, hopefully we will go back to vanadium 3. Now 
Right, let's see if we can add a little bit more potassium permanganate. Made up a little bit more potassium permanganate solution. Let's add a little bit more. Seeing a slight change in colour here. Getting there. But I'm running out of potassium permanganate solution, I'll have to make some more up quickly. Have a definite green colour. Just about the yellow solution of the vanadium 5. Try a couple more drops. And there we are, we've taken it back from vanadium 2 back to vanadium 5. Another couple of drops and we then know we've gone over the end point and there we've got a colour of potassium permanganate not being changed by the vanadium and there we're getting the colour of potassium permanganate starting to appear.